My name is Levat Manet, a chairperson of Achura's village health. My name is Rumbi Zaimake. I work there as a village health worker in the Ashuras community. I am Aaron Kuzwamja Tuta, a teacher by profession involved in philanthropic work. I boast of a vast knowledge and experience in poultry production and community deep workshop facilitation. Akshura's mine is located 34 kilometers away from the capital city Harare. It is in the Gromos district of Mashonaland East in Zimbabwe. The Akshura's community is facing problem of poverty and lack of unity as people are divided along political lines and religious beliefs. If this problem persists, the 2023 election will be a disaster as there will be obviously marred by violence. More so because of poverty, school dropouts will increase and general anger and starvation will continue to hit the place. The group envisaged to start by workshopping 25 committee members selected from different political affiliations and religious sects. They shall go through proper steps in the keeping of the brillas with the assistance of a yard expert. For two months, the group will carry out practical lessons on the keeping of the first batch of 1,000 beds. The proceeds will therefore go towards helping the vulnerables of the community, which include Sekur Anania, in paying school fees for five primary and five secondary students. We will teach 25 unemployed members of the community to keep 25 broilers through both practical and theoretical lessons. This will therefore improve the lives of 25 households and the general community members. We get knowledge on how to keep broilers through working together. This will bring peace and unity amongst our community members, despite religious and political affiliation. Furthermore, this will reduce poverty and improve the livelihoods of people in the community. The project will bring the idea of togetherness. We expect to see a united community since people will be working together. This will therefore also reduce level of poverty and also improve the livelihoods of the community members. Our community of Chiazwa is located in the eastern province of Zimbabwe in Manikaland. It is in Ward 30, a group with composite skills and uniquely talented. We have a coordinated committee to run the project. Our area is same arid region with less rainfall but endowed with diamonds. Our area is in region 5, meaning that we receive very little rain for yearly. So the land is now suitable for drought-resistant crops and animals. So due to the coming in of mining, most of our farming land has been taken and we are only left with land suitable for animal husbandry. We dream of an economically and nutritionally empowered community. Our project will focus on goat breeding project. We intend to introduce a new breed like Boa goat and Kalahari goats. They are good in terms of weight and price offered on the market. Once mature, the goats will be distributed until each household have a new breed in the community. Our main objective is to empower our community in terms of nutrition and socio-economically. 
we intend to start with 14 breeding goats meant to benefit first aging families. Our target is vulnerable people first and the rest of the community. We are going to do various checks before we commence it and this includes training of community members and patients of vaccinations. There is going to be an improved nutritional intake of milk and goat meat, an empowered community, poverty reduction, reduction in antisocial behavior by youths, and an agricultural boost. Apart from improved food security and poverty eradication, we are bound to have an economically empowered community that will come together in their diversity. Success is guaranteed considering that we have trained manpower and there is willingness to do even better. We are hard workers and highly motivated. Surely this project is going to change the people of Chad. Chikupa Youth for Action group is a group of young men and women which is composed of 15 uh, in total, 8 are women, 7 are men. We are located in the Mozambican border uh, in the Shimanaman district and we are actually there to address issues to do with the drug abuse, child early child marriages by doing a, a chicken project that brings us together. Despite the fact that our community had been hard hit by Cyclone and I, our youth lack employment and income opportunities, leading to despondence, massive drug abuse, early pregnancy and early child marriages. Some of them opt to travel to South Africa where they face more than day slavery. And I'm going to create a mass where I'm going to put a concert of good at Sino Toga Mazai, but this is this is that only challenge you team Murio Mazai at this is Sino. We are aiming at implementing a project of production of eggs where we are expecting to keep at least 50 chickens at point of laying. We are expecting 40 eggs a day which will amount to an average of 280 eggs a week which will give us an amount of 45 US dollars a week. With more concentration and hard work we will use the money to get more chickens and expect to be having an amount of 100 chickens at the end of the year. This will help us eradicate poverty from the youth and the community as a whole. Despite the nutritional value of eggs in the community, we will realize unity amongst the youth, eradication of poverty and youth empowerment. Most of some funded projects have been focusing more on uh, women, children and the elderly while neglecting the youth who are the backbone of community development. Uh, in this regard, promoting youth participation through egg production project will at least uh, uh, accelerate development within our own community. We are a diverse community group based in Epworth, Magada, Ward 4, Harare, Zimbabwe. Together, we would like to implement a startup community owned shop.
We are a diversely skilled steering committee, including farmers, a social worker, an accountant, an artist, a radio TV presenter, and local entrepreneurs. Lack of funding and adequate resources is causing Magada community projects to prematurely die. To see a healthy, vibrant Magada community with the establishment of community enterprises without destroying our environment. Upon raising the startup funds, our main objectives for the first three months will be to carry out a socially inclusive survey, putting together small to medium enterprises directory. Mobilizing more than 30 community members for commitment fee, share ownership, constitution making, and illegally registering a multi purpose cooperative under the Zimbabwean bylaws. Lastly, setting up and running a community owned shop. Expected outcomes will be as follows. Access to funding, including local market for nearby smallholders, processors, and follow-on projects that we envision, such as community nutrition garden, a policy of social inclusion. The shop will ensure that local and affordable fresh produce is available to the nearby community. Being part and parcel of the economically marginalized of our society, we are inspired to reclaim our sense of wealth by engaging in this community-owned shop project, including addressing food and nutrition security. Kufunda is a learning village established in 2003 just outside of Ruhr. We are committed to supporting communities in finding and implementing sustainable solutions to community challenges together. A problem we wish to address is of deforestation, caused in large part due to an ever-growing need and demand for firewood affecting the environment, degrading the land, affecting our rainfall. Women end up walking further and further to get their wood, sometimes endangering themselves. Many are going out to cut wood for sale. No one is planting to replace what is being used. Our vision is to restore our trees and to find more sustainable ways to work with nature and our own needs. The Jengetahuni wood saving stove is a very simple solution. Our vision is to spread the use of these stoves in four communities in the Epworth Rua area, led by primarily women participant facilitators. We wish to use the activity of stove building to bring the community together, building relationship and cohesion. Our objectives, to reduce deforestation through implementing the wood-saving stoves, to empower women by using them as lead facilitators for the stove building project, to build community cohesion by using the project to stimulate community conversation and gatherings. We expect to build 1,800 stoves, to train 80 facilitators, and to impact well over 6,000 people through the process. We expect the follow-on effect to be of stronger neighbourhoods, deeper care for trees, including planting new ones, and of more women stepping into leadership in their community. We believe you should support us because we are a community-based organisation with almost two decades of experience of working in community. 
we are committed to sustainability and we are directly responding to requests and readiness in our nearby communities. We look forward to working with you. Sikula Ndaonye is a community-centered project idea which aims to create self-sustainable communities in Lupane. This initiative was started by a six-member group in Machia Ward 15 at Shabula, a village located five kilometers away from Lupane Center in Matebelele, North Province of Zimbabwe. I am a farmer. I am a tailor. I am a teacher. I am a farmer. I am a community leader. I am a farmer. Poor farming soils and poverty has resulted in the majority of our communities surviving through handouts from well wishers. We should be able to produce nutritious and affordable broiler chickens in Lubani. Create economically independent communities in Lupane through project management skills gained. Reduce teenage pregnancy and drug abuse amongst youth. Chicken droppings produced will help improve soil fertility in community nutritional gardens. We need to source for chicks, feeding and water containers, chicken feed which will be supplemented by locally available millet. Looking forward to producing 200 broiler chickens in 6 weeks. 15 youths selected from vulnerable households will be trained in 6 months. These empowered youths will be supported to train 20 more youths to implement their agro-businesses. Looking forward to an increase in access to nutritious broiler chickens. Affordability as a result of locally sourced inputs and reduced transport costs. Enhanced youth entrepreneurship skills. Community gardens will benefit from chicken manure. Self-sustainability will be improved through transfer of skills to the local community. Our project aims to cultivate sustainability through continuous transfer of agriculture entrepreneurship skills into the community. Create unity amongst the Pani communities. Provide locally available and affordable source of proteins and eliminate dependence on food aid. Reduce teenage pregnancy and drug abuse. We are looking for your support and contribution towards creating a self-sustainable Lupane community.